Welcome everybody. I am Eileen Fulchange, a licensed psychologist and yoga teacher. This practice is for everyone who wants to heal. Heal from trauma, depression, anxiety, life stress. However, this practice is not a substitute for therapy. If you are experiencing a crisis or more serious symptoms, talk to your counselor or therapist. Welcome. Today, we have a special practice. For this practice, you don't need anything at all um, except for a chair. So let's start in a chair. Maybe taking some moments to adjust our bodies in the chair. Maybe noting, noting if our feet are touching the floor or not. Maybe putting our hands in our in our thighs, in our laps, or maybe in the sides of our bodies. If you want to, you can close your eyes. Maybe taking a moment just to pause and check with our bodies, check with our breathing, noticing their sensations in our bodies. Maybe noticing if there's any sensations Noticing your breathing, if you're breathing slowly or not. And maybe we can start to bring more attention to our body by putting our hands over our bellies. Noticing if our bellies are expanding or contracting. Noticing the quality of our breathing. And of course, you can be here sitting for the rest of today's practice if you want. Um, it's your body. You get to decide what you want to do with your body. Um, but if you want to, you can also begin to bring attention to your neck. So one way that you can do this is to start to make circles with your head and you decide which direction you want to start making these circles. Noticing here the sensations that you have in each side of your neck. Maybe noticing areas of tension. Maybe some areas with less tension. And when you feel ready, you can change the direction of the circles if you want to. Again, noticing the sensations that you have. Maybe noticing emotions. Maybe surprise at the sensations that you're having in your neck. Or maybe you don't feel any sensations or any emotions, and that's okay too. So in your own time, arriving to a neutral form and noticing any changes in your neck. So now, if you want to, you can start to notice the sensations in your shoulders. One way to do this is to lift your shoulders and lower your shoulders. Maybe connecting this movement with your breath. Maybe inhaling when you lift your shoulders and exhaling when you lower your shoulders. Maybe. And maybe doing this for three more cycles. Inhaling, noticing the weight of your shoulders. Exhaling, also noticing the weight of your shoulders. Maybe two more times. And maybe one more time. And pausing for a moment, maybe noticing after a bit of movement, how are your shoulders from within your body? And continuing to notice the arms. So one way you can do this is to put one arm in front, using the other arm to hug that arm. And maybe here there are some sensations. Maybe 
and sensation of the muscles of your shoulder that's in front um, that maybe it feels stretched or maybe there are other sensations from within the joint of your shoulder so we're going to be here for two more breaths inhaling and exhaling and then one more time and on your own time letting go of the arms checking how are your arms after this bit of movement maybe there are differences between the two sides or maybe there are no sensations just notice and observe and when you feel ready if you want to you can try the same thing with the other side putting one arm in front using the other arm to hug that arm and you decide the intensity of this of this movement of this form of this hug and whatever intensity that you decide I invite you to check what sensations you're having in this shoulder maybe there are very similar sensations with the first side or maybe totally different it's okay to have the two different sides be different and it's also okay to have them be similar so we're going to be here for two more breaths noticing here the sensations you have in your shoulder noticing if the sensations change with every breath and when you feel ready letting go of the arms maybe next to your body or maybe putting your hands in your lap and noticing the sensations in your arms and your shoulders maybe there are sensations maybe there aren't so we're going to begin to notice the sensations in the front of our body and one way in which we can do that is to put the two hands behind maybe touching your hands um, or maybe you can touch or reach uh, your hands to each elbow uh, the opposite hand to the opposite elbow or maybe just putting your hands uh, uh, touching your fingertips together maybe interlacing your fingers that's an option is to interlace your fingers it's your decision um, or also if you want you can put your hands against the chair like so there's a lot of options so maybe here there are sensations uh, maybe in the front of your body maybe some sensations in your chest maybe again in your shoulders um, maybe in your stomach and belly maybe in your spine so we're going to be here for two breaths just noticing the front of your body or if there are other sensations in other parts of your body noticing the sensations there so breathing inhaling exhaling maybe one more time and then noticing pausing for one moment to notice what sensations are happening in your arms in the front of your body in your shoulders in your body and now we're going to explore some sensations in the back and one way to do this is to interlace your fingers interlace your fingers um, with your palms facing forward and maybe here there are some sensations in your back especially in the top part of your back 
if you want to uh, curve a little uh, or make a bigger curve, you can also do that. And if you don't want to do that, that's okay too. It's your body, your back. You decide what to do with your body and your back. So we're going to be here for two more breaths. One and two. And then letting go of your arms. And you can pause here another time, another time, just checking in with your body. And also, if you want to, if you're ready, um, we can start folding, folding over our legs. And you decide if you want to put some space between your knees or if you want your knees together. That's your decision where you want to put your knees. For me, I'm going to put my knees more apart, but you can decide something different. So allowing your body, your upper body, to hang toward uh, over your legs. Noticing maybe the weight of your head, the weight of your arms. Maybe there are other sensations too. Maybe sensations in your hips. And maybe if you want to, you can bring some more attention to your spine. Maybe there's some sensations of the tendons and the muscles stretching. Maybe, maybe you can feel that, that your spine is a little bit longer, that there's a little more space between each bone of your spinal column. Or maybe there are no sensations, not a single sensation, and that's okay. We're going to be here for two more breaths, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling. And then beginning, maybe slowly, to use your hands to give you some support, support to your body, unrolling your spine, and taking a moment just to see how's your spine, how's your back in this moment. Are there sensations or are there not sensations? So. Now we're going to do a very similar movement, but with one side, one leg. So I invite you, and of course, with every invitation, you can say no, but um, just folding over one leg, maybe putting each hand um, to the side of your feet, your foot, and noticing here the sensations. Maybe there are sensations very similar. But also perhaps you notice more sensations on one side of your body. Maybe the muscles and tendons there are stretching. So we're going to be here for two more breaths. Maybe noting your belly against your leg. Maybe noticing the expansion of your back with each inhalation. And when you feel ready, rising little by little, maybe using your hands to give you a little support for your body. Checking, pausing for one breath to check with your spine. And maybe trying the same movement, the same form with the other side. Putting your body over the other leg the other thigh. And maybe here, there's some sensations here also on the other side of your body. Or maybe it's different. Maybe it's a totally different experience with this side. And that's normal. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe one more time. Inhaling and exhaling and rising slowly to rise uh, using your hands maybe to give you some support and 
And so now we're going to explore a little bit more um, at the same time, the front and the back of our bodies. So one way to do this is to twist. So one way to twist is to put one wrist against the inner part of your knee and with the other arm opening, opening your arms to one side. And you can decide to be here or you can decide to put your arm against the back of your chair, resting, resting your arm against the back of your chair. So you decide. And here, just noticing the sensations. Maybe there are parts of your body that are working while there are other parts that are relaxing. So just notice. And can you notice that there are two sensations happening at the same time? And if you don't notice anything, that's okay. Notice that you don't notice anything. So we're going to be here for one more breath. And then if you want to, we can return to the center and you can try the same movement with the other side, opening to the other side, opening your arms on the other side. And maybe here there are some sensations in your back, like maybe something is twisting or maybe in your abdomen and your belly. Maybe something twisting there. And maybe we can be here for one cycle of one, one breath. Noticing the expansion of your belly and, and your own time. Going back to the center, taking one moment, one pause, just to check. Okay, how is, how's my spine? from the inside of my copy of my body. How's my belly? How are my arms? Okay. So finally, we're gonna check with our hands. So one way that you can do this is open your hands and you decide if you want to open your hands facing your thighs or if you want to open your palms facing the ceiling and maybe closing your, your hands, making fists. Maybe we can also change, um, inter ex interchange between the two, opening and closing, opening and closing. And just noticing, maybe closing your eyes, noting the sensations when your, your palms open and when your hands close. Maybe connecting this movement with your, with your breathing, maybe inhaling when you open your palms, maybe exhaling when you close your palms. So we're gonna be here for two more cycles, one, and two. And if you need to shake, shake your hands or shake your arms, you can that you can do that. And we are approaching the end of our practice. So if there's other movements that you want to do um, in this moment, you can pause this video and do whatever movements that you want to do. It's your body. So if your body needs something more, you can follow your body. Okay. So also you can, if you feel ready, um, we're going to end with how we begin with the hands against the belly, noting the inhalations and exhalations maybe noticing the differences, if there is a difference in how we started the practice and now in this moment. Maybe there's differences in how you're breathing. 
Maybe you're breathing more slowly, or maybe there's no difference. Maybe there's differences in your body. Maybe there's more flexibility that you feel, or maybe there's no differences from the beginning. It's an opportunity just to notice, observe, before closing our practice. Okay, well, thank you very much for being with me today. I hope that this practice was useful. And if there are uh, suggestions, or if you want another way of practicing, um, please uh, comment and uh, see you soon. Bye.